the computer. All right. We are really sad that we are missing a lot of our friends. So we had an idea today to record the yoga practice so that you could try it at home. Uh, so if we are missing you, we hope to see you next week. Uh, and um, we're talking about a story that has what kind of animal in it? What kind of animals in today's story? Yes, there's lions in today's story. Not my lion hat. And I could not find, um, and but I did find my, I got my tiger hat, and I found, what do you think this is? Cheetah, I couldn't, I, so the big cat was spot, I didn't know if that's cheetah or leopards. How do you know the difference? It's it's leopard, I, I don't know. Oh no, I gotta look it up. Okay, so we're doing the big cats today. So to breathe like a lion, you're gonna sit up yeah, nice and tall it. on your knees, okay? You got a what? A knee. Did you get one? It's hard, sad. All right, so um, you're going to take the top of your pulley, all right, and you're going to, now everybody turn around the other way, because I'm just showing everybody how to do, stretch the top of your feet this way, oh, or you can stretch out the bottom of your feet that way, all right? Okay, all right, so find the way you want to kneel, all right? <laughs> And be very, very careful. I have a cough drop, so I know, but you're really not supposed to do yoga with something in your mouth. So be very, very careful. All right. Okay. So, all right. So I, I appreciate that, but you didn't ask permission, right? So that makes me very sad. Now it's all recorded for all time to know. Well, that makes me even more sad. Okay. So here's the deal. So um, we are going to be the lion with our breath. So the yogi say you breathe in through the nose. And you breathe out with, and when you breathe out, you get anything stuck inside of you out. So if this is good for when you're angry, or it's good when you have stale breath inside of you. Yogi say you get it out and get a whole oh, new breath, breath, all fresh air to enter. Okay. All right, here you go. That's beautiful, Katie. All right, here we go. Big breath in, and big breath out. And big breath in, and big breath out. Um, that's good. Let's do it one more time because you know threes is the magic number. Ready? Big breath in. And big breath out. Okay. Take your hips to your heels. So in this story, guys, people not doing so good. They are in captivity or they're in slavery in Babylon. Far, far away from home. So they don't get to decide when to get up in the morning. And they don't get to decide about what to do in a day. They are under someone else's rule. But God is still with us, even when things are really hard and terrible and no good and very bad, right? So there is a man that you know, was his name Fred? David. David. Was it David? It started with a D. Was it George? No, George didn't start with a D. His name is Daniel. Yeah, his name is Daniel. That's right, because what story did we tell last week? David and Goliath. There you go. So we had a name with a D last week. Okay. All right. But today's story is about a dude named Daniel. And what did Daniel do every day? Pray. That's right. So prayer in today's lesson is going to be kneeling as well, just like lion. And you're going to take your palms together, thumbs to your heart. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say a prayer. So everybody try yeah. a short, short prayer. Everybody say, dear God. Dear God. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, God, for everything. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen. Oh, All right, so Daniel prayed every day. Did that take a long time to pray? No. It didn't, did it? And when we pray before meals and when we spend time with God, it doesn't take a whole long time to do it. But do we get her done all the time? No. Oh, this D doesn't even get her done all the time. I'm sad to say. All right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to um, think about what happens next. So what happens next is the king. So everybody do your hands in front of your dot. Your toes behind it to find your down dog. Stretch out the back of your body, the legs of your body, pressing your heels towards the floor. Walk your paws together on your dot and then walk your hands up your body. Then we're going to be the king. And the king is going to sit in his royal throne. All right, so we're going to push our hips way <laughs> and then reach our hands up. Now, check your knees out. You don't want them to knock together. All right, so we don't want knees like this. And we don't want knees that look like this. When we sit in our royal throne, we want to lean back. Yeah? 
and we're going to feel the um, the effects of chair pose or the throne today. And we're going to feel these muscles working and growing. Does, you feel them get stronger? Yeah. Now, so reach up to be very tall. So, so Darius, King Darius noticed Daniel because he was such a clever and a strong leader and a very faithful man. And he made him in charge of other helpers. And other helpers didn't like Daniel being in charge. And just like when something happens and somebody in the class gets special treatment, we won't all have special treatment. So everybody was thinking of ways that they could get rid of Daniel. Okay, they could get rid of Daniel. So they think, let's spy on him. So put on your spy glasses and check him out. All right. So we're going to spy. Did they find anything wrong with Daniel? No. No, he never did anything wrong. But they made a new law. And what was that law, Helen Grace? Um, that um, they could only bow down to the king. So you can only bow down to the king. And what do we know about Daniel? He, he, only he prayed, prayed to God. Yes, he prayed to God. And do you remember in the story that we read downstairs how many times he prayed? Three times. Three times a day. So take your hands in front of your dot. Take your toes behind your dot. Work your down dog. Shake your doggy tail from side to side. Walk your paws to your dot. Walk your hands up your body. And then take your feet on both sides of your dot. Okay? All right. So what you're going to do now is take the toe that is closest to the center of our circle. So Katie, turn sideways. All right, and then take the toe that's closest to the center of the circle and turn that toe sideways. Now, the other foot is flat and sideways, and if you want more space, you can heel toe it out. But you're going to keep your legs nice and long and strong, okay? If your feet start to slide on you, you might want to slip your socks off, okay? Because I see Katie's, yeah, I see Katie's foot yeah. slip, and you don't want a slippy slide because then that'll hurt the muscles inside your leg. All right, we're going to reach our arms out as soon as we get everybody back in position. And then, kind of breathes in a big breath. Oh, no, and then slip your shoes back on. Big breath in, and then exhale as you reach over your pointy toe and roll one hand down and one hand high. And really put the work in the middle of the body and strengthen and uh, really work your leg muscles as well. All right, everybody say three. All right, and then I'm going to say, it's the magic number. Oh, yes, it is. It's the magic number. How many, how many sides does a triangle have? Three. How many, how many, how many points does it have? How many corners? And how many times did Daniel pray to God? Oh, you got it. All right, press through those strong, long legs and reach your body up high as you breathe in and out. And then take your toes on railroad tracks again. So side by side. And now we're going to take the toe that's outside the circle and slip it away. All right, we're going to work the insides, the whole body here with triangle. Here we go. You ready? Big breath in. And big breath out. Oh, as we slide over this toe and roll her down and roll her up. All right, every triangle has three corners. Every triangle has how many sides? <laughs> right, how many times did Daniel pray? That's it. So you're really strong in triangle pose, and we do it to remember the uh, that Daniel played three, prayed three times a day. We also use triangle pose when we're thinking about God because we can think about God as a father and God as a son and God as a spirit. Three in one, three in one. We got God the Father and God the Son, son and the Holy Spirit. The three in one. Yes, the Bible says there's God. Five. God in one. Jesus. Three in one. one. Yes, one. push through your strong, long legs. Breathe in. As you lift your body up, take your toes on railroad tracks and then jump your feet to your dot. And jump your feet. Okay. So, the, the guys that are plotting against um, da Daniel decide to make it that you can only pray to the... God. I'm dying. Yeah, Daniel was praying to God. So, they're changing the rules up. So, we're going to press our hips back. We're going to work the king pose. And so, we're going to remember you keep her being on your side of the... Um, the camera there you go thank you thank you um, all right remember that everybody's gonna be able to see your hard work today and the efforts that you put into class and if you're not working really hard then maybe your moms and dads won't want to pay for your work here so you don't want that to happen right well we don't want moms and dads not using their money well either all right so here we go so we're gonna dress up and be nice and tall and sure enough what does daniel do 
Yeah, even though he knows that it's going to get him into trouble. And sure enough, they arrest him and they take him to the... <laughs> Where do they take him? Yeah, and they throw him, and King Darius is heartbroken because he never, ever wanted Daniel to be hurt. He didn't realize he was being tricked. And so he hollers into the lion den, may your God that you love so very much rescue you. May he protect you this night. And then Darius goes back home. King Darius tries to get a good night's sleep. Can he sleep? No. No, because no, he's worried about David. No, David fought Goliath. That was like he, he's worried about who's in the lion's den. Uh, Jonah. No, he was in the belly of a fish. <laughs> What's this guy's name? Da, 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 da. David. No, that was the guy with Goliath. This is Daniel. 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 That's right. All right, so God sent an angel. So everybody breathe in and reach high and exhale and go low and breathe in. Or oh, thank you for being on your dot. All right, Katie is working hard today. And Holly Grace is working hard. And breathe in one more time. The angel of the Lord came. And what did the angel of the Lord do? They tied up those lions' jaws, clamped them tight. And the lions were like big old kitty cats whenever um, the night went past. And they didn't eat. They ate not one little bite, right? Hands in front of your dot, knees behind your dot, drop your belly. Lift your back to the sky. Drop your belly. Inhale, exhale, lift your back to the sky. Yogis say this is extension of the spine and flexion of the spine. Oh, thank you for giving your body a chance to feel really good as you work the back in this way. Breathing in on the cow pose, breathing out on the cat pose. And we can also say that's the happy cat. Yeah. And then this is the angry cat. Yes. Right? All right. So take your knees to your dot, rest your hips on your heels. So Daniel comes in the morning. Reach your big old sunshine arms up overhead, stretch out through the armpits of the body. Daniel, Darius comes in the morning and he says, Daniel, Daniel, are you okay? And what does Daniel say? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm fine. And Darius is so amazed that he makes a new law. All right, so let's do King Darius. Find your down dog. Find your Walk your palms together. Walk your hands up your body. Take your hips away. Back. All right, so when King makes a new decree, and that is <laughs> that they have to... Um, Thank you so much for being on your dot. Come on over here, all right? Aww. Oh, and so the new decree is where do they who do they have to pray to, Evelyn? God. Yes, because uh stand up nice and tall. Because Darius now believes that God, Daniel's God, is God. the true rescuer because he rescued him from the night in the lion's den. Okay. All right, so there's a song, and I don't know all the words, but we're gonna sing parts of it, do our yoga. And to review the story, and then I'll talk through the parts that I don't remember. Okay, so come on over here. Thank you, so that we can sing together. You ready? All right, it happened long ago, about 535 BC. Oh, that's way before Jesus. All right, can you go do, 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 do? There was a dude named Daniel that was born into the presidency. Do, 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 do. He was a very good man for a very good year. Then some of his buddies thought he got too much attention. They held a little meeting and proceeded to fix his wagon. They said his feet were dragging with a doo doo doodly doo doo. -doo, -doo. Well, they were thinking of ways that they could put old Daniel down. Do, 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 do. All right, look around. Remember, we spied on him. But then it was so good that not one thought could be found. Do, 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 do. And then they realized, what did Daniel do three times a day? Pray. He prayed three times a day. They were going to get him with religion. Right? They're going to get him through religion. They're going to tell everybody. They're going to talk to King Darius and then make it a law that you can only pray to the uh, king. king. And what does Daniel do? Pray to God. He continues to pray to God. So what do they do, Evelyn? They put him in the lion cage. Big breath in and big breath out. And it's called the den, right? That where the lions live. Yeah, the lion's den. Big breath in, big breath out. So they hauled him off the jail in that kneeling position, said, we wish you stayed for dinner, then they threw him to the lions. But Daniel wasn't worried, said, I'll see you once again in the morning. He just threw the yawn with a do-do-doodly-do. Well, early in the morning, then the sun comes up and get up really high before the king was feeling down. 
He went to the lions and he looked in the window. Oh, what do you think he found? Oh, Danny was singing those lions in the hymn. He was leading those lions in the hymn. He was fighting the big brown horse. They said an angel of the Lord arrived last night and he clapped his lion's jaws. He really did that. But you put you boo, 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 boo. And so what was the new law that the king came up? Only pray to the king. Only pray to the king? God. Only pray to God like Daniel's God. So Darius said, Daniel really showed us that his Lord was a living. We threw him to the lions, but the lions didn't eat him. I want you all to listen to what Dan's Lord is saying. And it's the king's okay. And do 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 All right, big breath in. What more more lions were? All right. So from Daniel's story, we remember that we have to pray, pray, to God. pray, 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 always pray. All right. We're going to get ready to rest. And so you guys out there in TV land, y'all can get ready to rest too. We hope you enjoyed the review of the story about who? Fred? Herman. Oh, no, no, no. What's this guy's name? David. No, not David. He fought the Goliath <laughs> giant, giant soldier last week. His name is Daniel and the Lion's Den. All right, guys, we'll see you hopefully next week. Everybody say bye. Yeah.